Hey guys, JH, welcome to practice team. We're just trying to do this in between rain, guys. Yeah. Every day it's either wind or it's rain. Okay, I shouldn't complain, I suppose. Okay, guys, today's the name of today's video, and I was going to do it with uh, Mr. Rex today, and we may still do it tomorrow, but he's had some some uh, dental work today, so he's, uh, he's in a little bit of pain. Okay, guys, today. The name of today's video is Behind the Line for Channel Lock. And what does that mean? It means that the general emphasis in Channel Lock is if there was a line here, we've got to stay behind that line when we hit the ball. The emphasis is keeping the weight behind, the head behind, and the intention to stay behind as long as we can in the golf swing. So it's, so it's called Behind the Line in terms of a commitment or an emphasis in the golf swing. Now why do we want to do that in channel lock? We want to do that in channel lock because it emphasizes the rotation around the trail vertical axis and that's very much the the, the baseline uh, mechanics uh, tenet of, uh, of channel lock is that it, we don't have a rotation around a center like we normally do in a golf swing. Here we, we have a, a centralization around a trail axis a and the trail axis is this here guys so we want to have all our emphasis here. Basically channel lock is this type of swing. Its arms pass the body with the body staying in place and being stable in an upright and vertical position. We don't want any shoulder rotation we don't want any lateralizing. We certainly don't want any lateralizing with an with a extreme back ball position. So the emphasis should always be on behind the line. And the line being drawn from here. We want to do all our work behind this line here. Now how do we do that? Well clearly you have to consciously think about doing it. Guys, there are a lot of things that people think happen automatically in a golf swing. But Ben Hogan was a perfect example. I mean, he, he admitted that he could be working on 20 things at one time. When someone asked him one day, someone said it to him, Ben, do you, do you think about this on the backswing, that, that rolling of the hand? And he just looked at the guy and he said, Sonny, I think about everything. And Jim Demerit said that. And... Um, Jackie Burke said that, that Hogan could be working on, you know, lots and lots of different things. So there's nothing automatic, and that's why he practiced every day, guys. That's why the good players do that, because you may think it's automatic, but it's not. You've got to drill it in. At least that's how, what I believe, and I've always done that. I think stuff that's natural in a golf swing, uh, is that's an oxymoron, because I don't think there's anything natural in a golf swing. Because all the stuff we do in a golf swing, we don't do with our normal biomechanical gross motor movements. We don't do that. So it's an unnatural action. So you have to program the unnatural action and you have to maintain the programming. Okay, so to stay behind the line, guys, what I find works for me is that when I take it back, I really do feel that my head and my emphasis and my being is over here. Mr. Rex calls it seeing the shaft. He tries to see the shaft back here, bisecting something back here. I just feel, personally, I just feel that I get over here and I stay over here. And I just want my arms to fire past my body, here. I don't want my body to go with it. Past my body is the feeling of the body being closed to the attack line here, or the target line. And I want to swing my arms past that closed body. Now you won't get it to that extent in terms of actuality, but the, the intention should be that. That we feel like we're really shut down and we're swinging those arms past us in the channel. You won't have the, the, the absolute geometry, deliberateness that we show in a practice swing. And I've always said that from day one. It'll always be an intentional feel rather than a, than a reality of application. 
So how do I do it? Guys, I get here, I sort of fall into this trail side. I just fall into it, here. Bill Phillips does it great from MMI Golf. Bill gets here and then he just buckles his lead side. Now when he buckles the lead side, he falls into the trail side. And I want to fall into that trail side and I want to stay in that trail side when I hit the ball. And that's how we get the behind the line. Now for me guys, it, it really is just a matter of five o'clock nose personified. I want to have my head that far to the right for me being a right-hander as I can possibly get and I want to maintain it there when I hit it. A la Jack Nicklaus. And I think that's why Jack was such a great uh, <clears throat> player and ball striker. Jack's Jack's major attribute was that he always, if he missed the green, he always hit the ball pin high. So he always had a really solid strike on the ball, 99% of the time. And that is because I believe he was always in this position here. Okay, he was left eye dominant. So that was one of the reasons he had that head turned to the right like that. But Mo Norman was like that. But Mo Norman was left eye dominant too. People doesn't, don't talk about that. I tested Mo, he's left side dominant. Clearly, because he was left-handed, and most people, most left-handed people are left side dominant, left eye dominant, and that's why Mo was in this position when he hit the ball here. You know, the head outside the trail knee. Now, if we can get that feeling, guys, that will help us with channel lock. And and what I do, guys, is is I really do emphasise the five o'clock nose over here. Five o'clock, guys. If I had a clock in front of me here and it was looking at me, five o'clock is there. That's where I want my nose pointing, way over here. That's what five o'clock nose is. Okay, haven't hit any, and I'm just trying to beat the rain. So it'll probably be a short video in, in, in JH practice tea um, time frames, that is. Okay, so we're gonna be here, guys. It's gonna extend back. Yeah, guys, first shot of the day, wow, wow. And that's what I love about, wow, that's what, it's five iron guys, that's what I love about channel lock. Come out here, I never start with short irons, I've never done that in my life. William, come on, happy, I've got my little grandson here today, and he's going to drive me, just sit in the chair mate, and you just watch Poppy, okay? You can go for a walk, but go for a walk over there, from the other side of the camera, okay? He's a lovely little boy, he's eight years old, and he's, um, he's an Asperger's child with the most wonderful human being and smart smart as they come oh. okay guys so here we are behind the line this is our line we're going to push it back here I mean there's no wind here today guys none and so th th those balls are just ballistically straight. Okay, behind the line, James. See if I can get square onto the camera. Behind the line. Oh, there are guys, there's three shots there that are identical. All right, now what I've got to incorporate, and this is why the program is so important. Protocol, protocol, protocol. Now, I offended there in that I didn't apply the protocol because I was I was emphasizing something. But what dropped out of the protocol there was the ready pause. The ready code, and I didn't have that. But I wouldn't have done that in a golf shot or on a golf course. I wouldn't have done that because I would have gone through the protocol. And if you go through the protocol, guys, you can't get a miss a miss program. Okay, so I'm gonna go ready code and it's starting to rain. So behind the line, ready code, Five o'clock nose. Yeah, guys, I'm glad I got that in. It's starting to rain. So behind the line, guys, everything. Just feel you're sitting into that trail leg. It's raining. Don't want to get the camera or the audio stuff wet, so we might just take a break, guys, and, and, and come back. We might get away with it. There'll be a bit on the lens. So the ready pause, so, so important guys for me. I love channel lock guys because I can come here 
dead cold and hit shots like that. That's the great thing about channel. Sit into the soggy legs behind the line. Here's our line. Wow. Now with the ready code, or the ready pause, I haven't got any pause as such, but what I'm endeavouring to do is to feel a pause. And if I can get that feeling, then then I'm okay. Okay, let's do it perfectly. Behind the line. Don't walk in front of the camera, mate. Oh, good boy. He's walked over there with the camera to stop it getting wet. You're a good boy. He's such a lovely boy. I wonder what he was doing. Oh, he was a good kid. Okay. You watch Poppy hit this. You watch the ball out there. Here we go. Sit into that soggy leg. Oh. You like that? Beauty, eh? They're just perfect. There's no wind here. Though. That's okay. It's not raining. You can drop that. You just sit down and watch Poppy. I'm going to get him into golf in another, maybe another year. Yeah, you put those in your pocket. Don't lose them. Uh, yeah, because he's got such a really solid concentration base. I think it would be a sensation. But he's a bit young yet. I've never taught kids really under 10 or 11 because, you know, for me, particularly with the amount of, that I used to charge for lessons for the parents it was hard because the concentration levels are low in kids like that and I'm really a you know a uh, more an elite um, golfer teacher I'm not that great with kids because I need to get someone to, to comprehend information and it's hard when they're young and it's hard for the parents because they were paying a lot of money and uh, I didn't want to take money and not get results with them so I, I canned that, that teaching of children a long time ago. Okay guys, so we're just going to fall into the soggy legs. Ready code. Guys, you can see those balls, they're all in the same place. Alright, do a better ready code, Jage, a better one. Come on. There it is, guys. Wow, that is just... Okay, there's a bit of water on that ball, but that's gone 20 yards longer. Now, you don't want a five iron to go three iron distance, but that's just a bit of water on the golf ball. That's a good shot, wasn't it? He's giving me the thumbs up. He's a good little critic. Great little critic. This little William. We call him King William. Good boy. Poppy will hit it out towards the red car. You watch that? Okay guys, five o'clock nose, behind the line. Well guys, I've got to make a comment to myself. JH, you're not that good. You are not that good that you can hit those type of shots. Well let me say, I've never, I've never been good enough to hit those type of shots. I saw Mo Norman do that. And not for one moment, I'm ever comparing myself in ball striking quality to Mo Norman. His sound of impact was like a AK-47. And John Sandon's coach Ian Trick said that my impact sound was like fingernails down a blackboard compared to uh, John Sandon's. I'm not sensitive. Okay guys, behind the line. Okay, do a good job, Jade. Alright, now, now to do a really good job of behind the line, trail foot's got to be down. I was just watching my grandson then and I thought he was going to walk right in front of the camera, so... Okay, trail foot down, Jade. There it is, guys. Okay, a little bit of heel up, but gee, that's a good shot. 
And what's interesting, since I've evolved, they're good, aren't they? Give me a thumbs up. What's interesting in the involvement of, of channel lock guys is I've got no movement on the ball at all now. I used to have a you know pretty strong little tiny draw, but strong draw. Now there's none. So maybe I've just worked to the stage where I've got to face open a little bit, and there is no. Uh, well, I've got it open enough to completely eliminate the draw. I guess that that's what more to the point. Okay, come on. Okay, ready, pause. Five o'clock nose, trail foot down. Saw that ball hit. Saw it hit. Now see guys, there's no gouges, there's no big divots. As Mo used to say, nothing but ball. Now Mo was a big divot taker in his early days. But when he went to the, the two-handed grip, when he went with Jack Kirkendall in natural golf, uh, he went to the two-handed split grip and it shallowed him out. He didn't uh, didn't take divots at all after that, but he did when he was younger. And right up until he was you know, probably you know, 55. Okay, come on. Just fall into that trail side, behind the line. Just know you're going to get the same shot. Okay, a lot of ready code here. A lot of ready code. Come on. Oh, gosh. That's a beauty, wasn't it? Wow. You've got to feel like the head's still over that fence there when you hit the golf ball. A lot of discipline. Hardest thing I've got to do. And I said that to Mr. X the other day. He said, What's the hardest thing you found in? Channel lock, Joe. I said, keeping the five o'clock nose. Okay, guys, last shot. Rain's coming in. Watch this. This will be copyable. And guys, you've got to maintain. Somebody was saying about balls not going as high as they want. Guys, it won't go as high as you want if you've got that lean on the shaft. And sometimes with the angle here on the camera, which I'm terrible at setting up, I look like I've got a bit of shaft angle but I endeavour to have it perpendicular 90 degrees I endeavour to do that now guys if you've got it at 90 degrees what's happening well the loft on the club that it was designed to have and to launch the ball with is is active as soon as you move it forward that that loft is gone you've turned it into another club a stronger club okay the rain is coming come on Jay it's behind the line ready pause try and get square on I mean, there's so much hit on it. Guys, I've got a, uh, <laughs> a really tender lead elbow, which I've had my whole life, but it's flared up in the last couple of uh, days, and, and I'm really I'm really pulling off the shots a little bit. But, you know, that's a good thing. You can chicken wing it a bit, and it still goes dead flush straight. That's only because of my ailment. Okay, come on. Come on, Jade. Every one of those shots, guys, is on the green. Or would be on the green. If there was a green out there, they would be on the green. Every one. And that's what I like. You can hit it at 80%, 85% shot with channel lock, and it's on the green. Okay, last shot. Keep saying it, Jade. Okay. Copy book shot. Let's get square on. Move. We've got to work out how to get some uh, ball flight, guys. I'm going to try and do that tomorrow with Mr. Rex. Come on. Ready, Kurt. Wow. That's long, isn't it? The ground's very muddy here, guys. It's been raining all night. But there's a lot of clamp on that. I don't normally clamp the ball. There's a lot of clamp on that. <clears throat> One more, come on. Just sit into that trail side, behind the line.
Okay guys, the way to, to get it is just try and hit a little abbreviated shot. I want to say abbreviated shot, like a half shot. Just get here. Get here. Really see the ball hit. Just a little shot. Okay, one last full shot. Perfect shot behind the line, Jays. Behind the line. Come on. Guys, the rain's coming in. But that's it, that's behind the line. You've got to get here, guys, and fire it away from you. The old Mo Norman drill. Feel this. Get a club like that. That's how to keep that shoulder closed. Feel that. I'll really emphasize that on this shot. There it is, guys. Okay guys, rain's coming in. So that's behind the line. We may do something more formal tomorrow when Mr. X gets here. 